Francisco. Under pressure, sends one across. Lost it to Jensen. Jim, there are a lot of the Kings haven't been in this heck of game at all. No way. Allison to Dominoni. Rangers have played well, but the Kings, like that play by Coram, just casually threw it away like he wanted nothing to do with the puck. They're acting to me like they're expecting something every time they get the puck and it doesn't come. The old golf story, don't give, it, don't give me any shots, just give me two gotchas. You're not planning on telling that one, are you? I've cleaned it up pretty good. <laughs> I don't want to go in the game. Puck wide right side of Jim Rutherford. And the Kings have it at the goal line ahead from Saint Laurent. Look at the checking by New York still. Weak watches it go in. The corner. Hughes ahead. Larry Murphy's got a shot. Dead on. Missed by five, six feet. Rangers come out three on two, but they're easy. Man in front, Don Maloney. Good tip. Johnstone in the corner. Johnstone with a puck. Allison lost it on a check in front. That was Lewis taking it away or slowing him down. Johnstone again. Allison, they can straight and continue to bucket the corners despite the big lead. Johnstone almost bought one. This is just men playing with boys, right? Absolutely. Tom Maloney got a strangle hold on him from Lewis. Don't spoil it now. Don't spoil the game now. Eight minutes to go. 10 2 the score in favor of the Rangers. And this is New York Rangers hockey. Picking and choosing the right investments requires very careful handling. One wrong move can easily damage the best laid plans. At Merrill Lynch, we know that size and strength can be very valuable. But it is our sensitivity to your investment goals and agility in helping you reach them that makes us what we are. Merrill Lynch, a breed apart. We're back at the garden. Jim Gordon and Bill Chadwick. Rangers 10, Kings 2, 8 minutes to go. Face off inside the Kings end on the left side of Jim Rutherford. Blue line is just out of sight to your right. King start out on the right side, back across center zone. Look at Hedberg coming back in this kind of a game. The forwards have been coming back all night long and continue to, despite the fact the Ranger to blowing the Kings out 10-2. Up ahead, almost had Hedberg or Nielsen at the line. Side. 7 30 to go 31 shots on goal 37 for the Rangers 22 for the Kings Kings are almost back to 25 percent keeping them out of the net a final Edberg sent one ahead. Rutherford comes out and does clear. Beck. Nielsen to Barry Beck. Rangers have it. Here comes Hedberg. He went wide. That day. That was close with a stick that time. I thought Batty got hit. Mike Murphy's in. Save! Like a snake. Steve Weeks. Quick. Face off will be to the right side of Weeks. In the Rangers' end, screen shot by Wells, wide. 
Well, at the side of the net, and uh, Weeks has got it. If you ever saw Steve Weeks in store bought and clothes, you'd never believe that he was a hockey player, and least of all a goaltender. He's a scrawny little kid. <laughs> Late line. I would say he has the girth of about two toothpicks. Plus, little people resent that, Bill. 6.34 to go in the hockey game. 10 to the score, Rangers. We'll be a game tomorrow night, 7.35 here in the Garden. I hope you're with us. Last time I saw him, I was looking for his books. Jerry Gillis. Late long. It in front, can't get the swipe at it. He was trying to put it around him and pick it up. Still Ranger to four checking. They're as hungry as we have ever seen a Ranger team with 10 goals. They want more. Bad name. Hughes. John to the red line. Plays it ahead for Talibus. Wide by Talibus and behind the net. Across by Hopkins. John Paul Kelly. Bad day partially blocked it. The puck goes through the crease. And back across center zone. We're coming up on the five minute mark. Murphy lost to Duguay's check. Hughes. Vickers. For Doogie. Dukes has the puck. Long shot. Rutherford fields it all the way. 4.53 to go. Duguay steals. Shot in front possible. No. Blocked by the King. King's playing the puck along the boards. Four minutes and 40 seconds left. Score Rangers 10, Kings 2. And this is New York Rangers hockey. Off will be in the King's end just across the blue line. The Rangers will have an opportunity, of course, to wrap up the series tomorrow night. The Kings will be playing desperately to avoid that and go back to Los Angeles. Despite this blowout tonight for the Rangers, the series is still up for grabs. This is Don Luce. Long shot. Weeks makes the save. the corner and back out across center zone into center zone rather to Allison coming up with the four minute mark four minutes to go Don Maloney coming in with Korab Eddie Johnstone with Jensen on his back Laidlaw to Hughes sends it in behind the goal line Korab No icing. Three and a half minutes to go as the Rangers cross their blue line. Allison. Greshner's in. Nope, good poke check in front by Dion. Greshner keeps it in play. Kelly takes a piece of it. John Hughes again. Rangers have not cleared the zone. Offside, 316 on the clock. We said before. <laughs> 
Must be looking for the new net they're trying to get at the other end of the ice, what we understand there. The goaltenders union is very, very strong in the National Hockey League, and they've been fighting for that for some time. That's part of these, the circus paraphernalia, of course. Three minutes, 16 seconds to go. The Rangers will lead in this series two games to one. And of course, L.A., if they get the one tomorrow night at the Garden, will be going back to L.A. with a possibility of sewing it up at home. Here's Bonner in front. And why? Rangers got back and protected. So tomorrow night's game is not a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination, despite the fact the Rangers have just destroyed the Kings here tonight. Obviously, it has some morale factor. But hockey is a strange game, so the Rangers will have to come to play tomorrow night, too, and avoid going back to L.A. Start from scratch every hockey game. Eddie Johnstone. Two goals for Eddie tonight. Face off is on the right side of Steve Weeks. And into center zone. Three minutes to go in the hockey game. Some of the fans have finally left. Rangers have a chance again. Greshner missed the pass. For the first time, the Rangers are not really bearing down. They'll take one if they can get it, but they're not pushing after it. They have played hungry hockey tonight. Greshner. Try to set up Nilsson. Nilsson looking for a hat. Huge shot high on Rutherford. Nelson and Eddie Johnstone have chances for hat tricks tonight. Anybody else? No. Almost everybody has scored for the Rangers. There's a little crowd up here in the balcony. For years, they've been holding a little pool as you walk by. You know, you, you chip in your dollar, and you reach into an envelope and pick out the name of a player that you have in the pool that night. And if he is the leading scorer, you win. My luck is fabulous. I had Peter Walling tonight. Did a shot by Becky passing it deeper. I think Peter is the only guy who's not on the board. At Katsopoulos, maybe. Here's Peter with the puck now. Knocked away from him. But everybody's contributed tonight. Beck off the sideboard with two minutes and eight seconds to go in the game. Nethery. Weeks comes out, makes the play, rebounds loose. Rangers have it. He really has great reaction. Going to be a shot here. Wide. I thought I heard it tick a stick. Larry Murphy keeps it in play for the game. 146 to go in the game. Beck. Nethery. Can't get through Lewis. In front. And the Rangers will clear now. Gillis with help on the right. Gillis, look out. He's all right. Nethery with Wally in front. 119 to go in the game. Mike Murphy took a shot out of somebody who was down on the ice. I guess it was Wally. Pure frustration at this stage of the game. Two men in front. Bad save. Oh, there's a save. Four on the rebound. A beautiful save by Steve and the rebound off his pad into the net. L.A. for a change got a two-on-one break. There it is, set up perfectly. The first one is a beautiful save, but he can't get himself back together again with the second, although he gets a piece of it. Here's the long shot. Got a piece and lifted it and just went high. But it's an L.A. goal, and it's 10 to 3. One minute and one second to go. This is the last minute of the play in the third period. Give you that goal as soon as we get it up here. That's Larry Murphy's goal. Number 17, John Paul Kelly, and number 25, Dave Lewis. Lewis and John Paul Kelly on the assist. The game will be over in 39 seconds. Rangers 10 to 3 over the Kings. Larry Murphy, the second goal in the series. 
Dugay at the blue line. Looking for Talibus. And lost by Dean. Crowd starts to pick it up with 19 seconds to go. Listen to them. Dissected the Kings here tonight at Madison Square Garden, allowing two goals within the first three minutes of the hockey game, and then holding the Kings scoreless until the 1859 mark of the third period. In the meantime.